Alright guys, I am doing a different video uh, from what I've done in the past. Um, oh, sorry about the hand. Um, I decided that I'm going to do a book review. I I have I collect several books. I have uh, most of them are all car books. Some are a few of them are wrestling. Some autobiographies, but mostly all cars are centered around that. But I decided that I'm going to make a book review video of a series of books that I've greatly enjoyed, and I know there's a cult following of for the uh, for the author. I'm a fan of his myself, and uh, well. Let's get to it. This is, uh, okay, well first and foremost, sorry about the poor lighting, guys. I'm working in uh, minimal light here, so I got, uh, hope this shows up better on the computer than it does on my little screen here. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing a review of a series of books called The Last Open Road, uh, written by, here's the copy of the first book, it, and yes, that is his name on the cover, B.S. Levy. And yes, the B.S. does stand for what you think it does. His real name is Bert Levy, but he goes by B.S. And uh, I think that's funny. But that's the first book he wrote. Um, the uh, the Last Open Road. Um, this is a fifth edition uh, printing of this book. I, I really was hoping to get a... Uh, uh, first edition copy and I know they're out there and all I had to do is look for it but I had already read this book uh, from my public library I read it actually about 10 years ago uh, these first two books along with Montezuma's Ferrari which was the sequel to The Last Open Road I first discovered these two books at uh, my public library and actually it was in 1999 just after this book was written I believe The Last Open Road was written around 1994 I believe was its first printing, 1994, somewhere around there was when uh, was when Levy first wrote that. But uh, they're just uh, the whole series. Uh, there's five of them so far. Uh, there might be a sixth book. I haven't checked yet, but I will. Uh, but I read these first. But anyway, I read these first two back in, when they first came out when Montezuma's Ferrari uh, was first printed. I actually read Montezuma's Ferrari first, uh, not knowing that this book was at the library as well. So I actually went back and I read this first book after I read the second book because I wanted to know what happened. And they, uh, but I bought these two, I bought these two books actually used uh, off of Amazon.com earlier this summer when I bought these three. These three are all new, and they're all... Uh, the Last Open Road is the only one I have that is not a first edition copy. The rest of these are all first editions. Um, actually, I don't think there... Are, I think there's only been one printing so far of the Fabulous Trash Wagon, Tolly's Ghost, and the 200 mile per hour Steamroller, uh, as it is. I. I know there was a second printing of Montezuma's Ferrari because it had just a plain black cover with the uh, Ferrari logo on it. In fact, I believe it's, uh, yeah, there it is right there inside the dust cover of the 200 mile per hour steamroller, uh, book one. But um, I originally, I very, very much enjoyed these two books and uh, I had completely forgot about them for several years. And earlier this year, I was uh, thinking about it again, and I decided to pick up these first two books. And I wanted to see, because I didn't know there were, at that, you know, it completely slipped my mind that these two books, I had never bothered to check to see if there was any more written. And as it turns out, uh, this book was written, I believe, in 2001. Uh, when was the print date on it? Uh, first edition, uh, October 31st, 2002. Okay. And Tolly's Ghost was written in June 2006. And the 200 mile power steamroller, I know, was for this was in uh, October 2010, was its first printing. So it just came out last fall. But, um, 
I had decided that I wanted to read all of the books uh, after reading these first two again. I bought all five of them off Amazon at the same time. And, I, and this is another one of Burt Levy's books. This is uh, a separate book called The Potside Companion that he wrote, which is a compilation of his short stories that he's had published through the years. And this, I believe, was written... Um, the Potside Companion, I believe, was published in... Uh, when was this published? In 2001, it looks like. So this has been out for a while, too. Yeah, second printing, October 2007, which is probably what this is. And that's fine by me. This is a second printing. That's okay. I'm not. I'm not one of those. Uh, I'm not one of those compulsive types who has to have the first edition of everything. It's so it doesn't matter to me. Which is why I bought a fifth edition of this book. One cool thing I do want to note about this book, though, is it is signed by the author. I have no idea uh, who Harvey is, who he signed it to, but the fact that Burt Levy signed this book, I think it's very cool. So that was the fact that that's a fifth edition, and the rest of them are all first editions. The fact that B.S. Levy signed this book himself made up for that, especially since I only paid like five or six dollars for the book. But anyway, it, the, the series of books follows uh, the lead character, his name is Buddy Palumbo, who is an up-and-coming uh, racing mechanic uh, who started out back in the early 50s. And that's where the title of the book comes from, The Last Open Road, is he started getting into the world of sports car racing uh, just as they were starting to get out of doing the uh, racing on the open roads. Uh, and it, uh, and uh, they started doing them on the uh, the uh, the airport circuits and that kind of thing. It, it's very well written. The way that he intertwines the fictional story around his lead characters, being Buddy Palumbo, and uh, you know Big Ed Bombstein, and you know, the, he intertwines real events, events that actually happened. Uh, one of them being in the first book. Uh, if anybody hasn't read it yet, I don't mean to ruin it for you, but there was actually a tragic accident at Watkins Glen in the fall of 1952, and it's 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 not quite exactly the same event that happened, but I don't exactly know what actually happened at Watkins Glen. But in the book, uh, one of the one of the supporting characters, who is a British driver, uh, crashes his Allard in town and a young boy ends up getting killed when his car smashes into a, the young boy and i don't know if that's actually what happened but i do know that at watkins glen that year somebody was killed because of one of the cars uh, uh crashing or whatever it was it was very he has it very well written uh, it's extremely well written uh it's and i believe the fabulous trash wagon which is the third book um i believe it's this book where he covers uh, uh, the uh, the lead the lead character Buddy uh, works for uh, one of the race teams, but goes to Le Mans in 1955. And I I don't want to give away too much, but I'm just making examples of how he intertwines the real events with uh, with this. But anyway. Uh, it goes to Le Mans in 1955, and I'm bringing this up because everybody knows what happened at Le Mans in 1955 when that Mercedes 300 SLR uh, crashed in, in, right in front of the grandstands and exploded into the crowd. And I believe, uh, uh, if I remember right, it was something like 90 people ended up getting killed because of that. It was one of the worst tragedies in racing history. And it really, it was it was bringing an end to, you know, the racing on the open roads, and it really brought into perspective how important uh, uh, spectator safety is in these kind of racing events. It, it was really, it was a turning point in the book too. It was really, uh, that that was really, he did a fantastic job intertwining the um, the fictional character with the real event and how real event, uh, the real event actually. Uh, 
you know how big of a tragedy it actually was and he very very well written into the story how it affected the lead character and how he felt it was very well written very very well written um, I am currently about uh, a third of the way into Tolly's Ghost so I uh, and I'm I'm enjoying it very much. This is a very very good book so far. I I'm very happy with all of them. I can't I'm can't wait to read the 200 mile per hour steamroller book one, which is titled Red Rain. And there's supposedly this is one of three books that are going to be written in the series for 200 mile per hour steamroller. It's it's like a sub series inside the, the Last Open Road. I'm very much looking forward to reading that. So, I uh, I kind of rambled on a bit, but I just I I love these books. They're very well written. Uh, anybody who's a fan of sports car racing should definitely check these books out. Any I would suggest starting with the last open road and reading the entire series. To be honest with you, because it's just a they're a fantastic you know series of books. Anybody who's a fan of uh, just of sports cars in general, anybody who's a fan of well-written stories. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be a sports car fan, but I've, it would help because the lead character, uh, it's the, the book is told by the point of view of the lead character, and he is very much a sports car fanatic, so as uh, much as I am. So it's very, uh, it'd be kind of hard for somebody to read it who is not a sports car fan, but... I would suggest anybody who enjoys reading a good series of books to check this out. So, there you go, guys. There's the last open road. Check them out. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.